Open heavens on the go. Thursday, September 2nd, 2021. Topic, it shall be well. Memory verse, Isaiah 3, 10. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Bible reading. Isaiah 3, 10 to 11. Say ye to the righteous, that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. The message. The Almighty God, whose words can never fail, Isaiah 55, 11, is the one who has said, we should say unto the righteous that it shall be well with them. Isaiah 3, 10. The importance of any statement depends on the person speaking. God is Alpha and Omega, Revelation 22, 13. He declares the end from the beginning, Isaiah 46, 10, and nothing can change his promise that says it shall be well with a particular group of people that is the righteous. So the question is, are you among the righteous? The first step towards becoming righteous is surrendering your life to Jesus Christ. He is the only one who can make us righteous. Romans 10, 4 says, For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Congratulations if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. The next step then is to remain in him so you can produce much fruit. John 15, 4 to 5. It indeed will be a complete mockery of the whole sacrifice of Jesus if he saved us from sin only for us to continue in it. If you have fulfilled or made up your mind to fulfill the conditions described above, I speak the word of the Lord into your life today. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. The statement, it shall be well with you, however, means different things to different people. To the sick, it means he or she will be healed, Matthew 12, 15. To the poor, it means his or her wealth is guaranteed because the Lord is the one who gives power to get wealth, Deuteronomy 8, 18. To the captive, it means the fellow will be delivered. Our God is the Lord of hosts. He will destroy all the forces holding such a person captive, Isaiah 49, 25. To the barren, it means that the person shall conceive. He is the one able to raise children out of stones, Matthew 3, 9. To the one who has been experiencing failure, it means success is coming, for God is the great promoter, Psalm 75, 6 to 7. I believe strongly that God wants to do something special for his children in this season. Remember, his word can never fail. What he has said must surely come to pass. Hold on to his word in faith and you will never be disappointed. It shall certainly be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Action point. Thank God for making you righteous and for assuring you of a glorious tomorrow. Bible reading in one year, Proverbs 5 to 6. Hymn for today, O God, our help in ages past. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.